In December 2016, the inaugural Women's Super Bantamweight Tournament came to a close at Glory Collision in Germany. American time bomb Tiffany Van Seuss battled her way to three straight victories to take the title and be crowned the first ever division champion. She looks to make her first defense of her title later this year. In the featherweight division, the new year came with a surprise when newly crowned champion and ex-lightweight champ Robin Van Roosmalen failed to make weight in his first title defense and by glory rules was stripped of the belt. Fast forward to Glory 39 Brussels and four top featherweights lined up in a contender tournament for a chance to challenge the Dutchman for the vacant belt. A series of close fought contests saw ex-champ and favorite Ukrainian Sergei Adamchuk face off against experienced Thai Petch Panamarong in the final. It was another close affair with the hands of Adamchuk facing the legwork of Petch Panamarong. It eventually went to the judges with a split decision favoring the tie. He will meet Van Roosmalen in his hometown of Den Bosch for Glory 41 Holland in May. Russell saw another tie. The killer kid, Sidichai, defend the lightweight belt for the second time as he took on contender tournament winner, Dylan Salvador. The two Muay Thai stylists, both Southpaws, looked evenly matched. Salvador scoring success in the early rounds, matching the champion's output. But Sidichai turned up the pace with relentless trademark knees to the midsection, and the Frenchman began to wilt. This all proved too much for Salvador as he succumbed to one devastating knee too many and folded in the fourth, failing to beat the count and ending the fight with a KO victory and another successful defense for Sidichai. With the welterweight division still reeling from the shock defeat of Nikki Holskin at Glory Collision, new champion Cedric Dumbe faced his first challenger in the form of Johan Congolo of Switzerland. The Frenchman began the fight early, several weeks early in fact, baiting the already furious Congolo on social media in the buildup. By the time they met in the ring at Glory 39, the difference in attitude was clear. Dumbe proceeded to give a master class in reading an opponent's mind, with the emotional Swiss fighter walking into every trap set, or watching in disbelief as Dumbe evaded and sidestepped with extraordinary reflexes. It's a risky tactic, especially against a dangerous opponent, but it paid off in style as the smiling Frenchman took a unanimous win and looks set to continue to shake up the division for some time to come. 2016 saw the crowning of a new middleweight champion, and Jason Wilness made his first title defense against contender tournament winner Israel Adesanya at Glory 37. The experienced Dutchman won by unanimous decision. Wilness will make his next defense at Glory 40 in Copenhagen against his rival and the number one contender, Simon Marcus. The light heavyweight saw Artem Bahitov recapture the title at Glory 35 Nice. His first defense was at Glory 38 Chicago, and the Russian put on a devastating display in a rubber match against Brazilian Salo Cavallari. The Brazilian launched a furious attack in the first round, but the composed Vahitov was unfazed, and in the second took Cavallari apart with precision strikes to drop the Brazilian twice, the fight being stopped before a third knockdown caused more damage. On current form, the Russian looks unstoppable, but first to try will be another impressive Brazilian contender tournament winner, Ariel Machado. And to top it all off, heavyweight superstar Rico Verhoeven continued his winning streak through 2016. After defending his belt twice more, the battle everyone wanted to see finally happened as Verhoeven took on the bad boy, Badr Hari, in a battle of champions many labeled old school versus new school. The fight was looking to be a classic before Badr Hari had to retire after suffering an injury to his right arm in the second round, giving Verhoeven a TKO win. Both fighters have verbally agreed to a rematch, so stay tuned. With big wins at Glory 38 and 39, respectively, top contenders Benjamin Adegbui and Jamal Ben Sadiq are lining up for a title shot. But the question still remains, can anyone topple the kickboxing king? We'll find out later this year.